worry has plagued mankind. Beginning with Eve having second thoughts about taking the fruit of the forbidden tree in the Garden of Eden. We worry about our mortgages and debts. And about stress, anxiety, and even our own mortality. But we especially worry about our careers, family, and our future. Worry is literally physical mental pain. Let's keep in mind, there is a difference between worry and concern. Our great God does not worry, but he does have concern. We can see from the scripture Luke, in chapter 18, verses 7 and 8. Will he delay long to help them? I tell you, he will give them justice speedily. The Holy Spirit and worry are not compatible. One stays and the other has to go. It is our right and responsibility to make the decision of who stays and who goes. The cure lies in change. The change that begins at baptism and continues until the final change that Paul speaks about in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 52. In a moment, in the blinking of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. Do we ever think about the fact that worry is a kind of sin, as it is caused by a lack of faith in God? Billions, including Satan and his fellow demons, believe in God. But do they truly believe Him, and that He will deliver what He's promised and pledged? But to the cowards, unbelievers, detestable persons, murderers, the sexually immoral, and those who practice magic spells, idol worshippers, and all those who lie, their place will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur. That is the second death, as it says in Revelations, chapter 21, verse 8. If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you, as written in the scripture Matthew, chapter 17, verse 20. Never forget, Jesus invites us to bring our worries to him. We learn in Matthew, chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. To read the full blog post or to learn more about us, go to cgicanada.org or click the link in the description below.